In particle physics, flavor or flavor refers to a species of an elementary particle. The standard model counts six flavors of quarks and six flavors of leptons. They are conventionally parameterized with flavor quantum numbers that are assigned to all subatomic particles, including composite ones. For hadrons, these quantum numbers depend on the numbers of constituent quarks of each particular flavor. Intuitive description. Elementary particles are not eternal and indestructible. Unlike in classical mechanics, where forces only change a particle's momentum, the weak force can alter the essence of a particle, even an elementary particle. This means that it can convert one quark to another quark with different mass and electric charge, and the same for leptons. From the point of view of quantum mechanics, Changing the flavor of a particle by the weak force is no different in principle from changing its spin by electromagnetic interaction, and should be described with quantum numbers as well. In particular, flavor states may undergo quantum superposition. In atomic physics the principal quantum number of an electron specifies the electron shell in which it resides, which determines the energy level of the whole atom. In an analogous way, the five flavor quantum numbers of a quark specify which of six flavors it has. And when these quarks are combined this results in different types of baryons and mesons with different masses, electric charges, and decay modes. Flavor Symmetry if there are two or more particles which have identical interactions, then they may be interchanged without affecting the physics. Any linear combination of these two particles give the same physics, as long as the combinations are orthogonal or perpendicular to each other. In other words, the theory possesses symmetry transformations such as where U and D are the two fields and M is any 2 times 2 unitary matrix with a unit determinant. Such matrices form a Lie group, called SU. This is an example of flavor symmetry. In quantum chromodynamics, flavor is a conserved global symmetry. In the electroweak theory, on the other hand, this symmetry is broken, and flavor-changing processes exist, such as quark decay or neutrino oscillations. Flavor quantum numbers Leptons or leptons carry a lepton number L equals 1. In addition, leptons carry weak isospin T3, which is minus one half for the three charged leptons and plus one half for the three associated neutrinos. Each doublet of a charged lepton and a neutrino consisting of opposite T3 are said to constitute one generation of leptons. In addition, one defines a quantum number called weak hypercharge, YW, which is minus 1 for all left-handed leptons. Weak isospin and weak hypercharge are gauged in the standard model. Leptons may be assigned the six flavor quantum numbers, electron number, muon number, tau number, and corresponding numbers for the neutrinos. These are conserved in strong and electromagnetic interactions, but violated by weak interactions. Therefore, such flavor quantum numbers are not of great use. A separate quantum number for each generation is more useful. Electronic leptin number, muonic leptin number, and tauonic leptin number. However, even these numbers are not absolutely conserved, as neutrinos of different generations can mix, that is, a neutrino of one flavor can transform into another flavor. The strength of such mixings is specified by a matrix called the Pontikov-Omaki-Nakagawa-Sakata matrix. Quarks all quarks carry a baryon number B equals one third. They also all carry weak isospin T3 equals plus or minus one half. The positive T3 quarks are called uptype quarks and negative T3 quarks are called downtype quarks. Each doublet of up and downtype quarks constitutes one generation of quarks. For all the quark flavor quantum numbers the convention is that the flavor charge and the electric charge of a quark have the same sign. Thus any flavor carried by a charged meson has the same sign as its charge. Quarks have the following flavor quantum numbers. Isospin, less ambiguously known as isobarac spin, which has value I3 equals one half for the up quark and I3 equals minus one half for the down quark. Strangeness. 
defined as s equals minus, where n s represents the number of strange quarks and n s represents the number of strange antiquarks. This quantum number was introduced by Murray Gell-Mann. This definition gives the strange quark a strangeness of minus 1 for the above-mentioned reason. Charm, defined as c equals, where n c represents the number of charm quarks and n c represents the number of charm antiquarks, is plus 1 for the charm quark. Bottomness, also called beauty, defined as b equals minus, where n b represents the number of bottom quarks and n b represents the number of bottom antiquarks. Topness, also called truth, defined as t equals, where n t represents the number of top quarks and n t represents the number of top antiquarks. However, because of the extremely short half-life of the top quark, by the time it can interact strongly it has already decayed to another flavor of quark. For that reason the top quark doesn't hadronize, that is it never forms any meson or baryon. These five quantum numbers, together with baryon number completely specify numbers of all six quark flavors separately. They are conserved by both the electromagnetic and strong interactions. From them can be built the derived quantum numbers. Hypercharge, y equals b plus s plus c plus b plus t. Electric charge, q equals i3 plus 1 half y. The terms strange and strangeness predate the discovery of the quark, but continue to be used after its discovery for the sake of continuity, strangeness of antiparticles being referred to as plus 1 and particles as minus 1 as per the original definition. Strangeness was introduced to explain the rate of decay of newly discovered particles, such as the kaon, and was used in the eightfold way classification of hadrons and in subsequent quark models. These quantum numbers are preserved under strong and electromagnetic interactions, but not under weak interactions. For first-order weak decays, that is processes involving only one quark decay, these quantum numbers can only vary by 1, delta B equals plus or minus 1. Since first-order processes are more common than second-order processes, this can be used as an approximate selection rule for weak decays. A quark of a given flavor is an eigenstate of the weak interaction part of the Hamiltonian. It will interact in a definite way with the W and Z bosons. On the other hand, a fermion of a fixed mass is normally a superposition of various flavors. As a result, the flavor content of a quantum state may change as it propagates freely. The transformation from flavor to mass basis for quarks is given by the Kabibakobayashi Maskawa matrix. This matrix is analogous to the PMNS matrix for neutrinos and defines the strength of flavor changes under weak interactions of quarks. The CKM matrix allows for CP violation if there are at least three generations. Antiparticles and hadrons flavor quantum numbers are additive, hence antiparticles have flavor equal in magnitude to the particle but opposite in sign. Hadrons inherit their flavor quantum number from their valence quarks. This is the basis of the classification in the quark model. The relations between the hypercharge, electric charge and other flavor quantum numbers hold for hadrons as well as quarks. Quantum chromodynamics Flavor symmetry is closely related to chiral symmetry. This part of the article is best read along with the one on chirality. Quantum chromodynamics contains six flavors of quarks. However, their masses differ and as a result they are not strictly interchangeable with each other. The up and down flavors are close to having equal masses, and the theory of these two quarks possesses an approximate two symmetry. Under some circumstances, the masses of the quarks can be neglected entirely. One can then make flavor transformations independently on the left and right-handed parts of each quark field. The flavor group is then a chiral group sol times sur. If all quarks had non-zero but equal masses, then this chiral symmetry is broken to the vector symmetry of the diagonal flavor group su, which applies the same transformation to both helicities of the quarks. Such a reduction of the symmetry is called explicit symmetry breaking. 
The amount of explicit symmetry breaking is controlled by the current quark masses in QCD. Even if quarks are massless, chiral flavor symmetry can be spontaneously broken if the vacuum of the theory contains a chiral condensate. This gives rise to an effective mass for the quarks, often identified with the valence quark mass in QCD. Symmetries of QCD analysis of experiments indicate that the current quark masses of the lighter flavors of quarks are much smaller than the QCD scale. Lambda QCD, hence chiral flavor symmetry is a good approximation to QCD for the up, down and strange quarks. The success of chiral perturbation theory and the even more naive chiral models spring from this fact. The valence quark masses extracted from the quark model are much larger than the current quark mass. This indicates that QCD has spontaneous chiral symmetry, breaking with the formation of a chiral condensate. Other phases of QCD may break the chiral flavor symmetries in other ways. Conservation laws all of the various charges discussed above are conserved by the fact that the charge operator is best understood as the generator of a symmetry that commutes with the Hamiltonian. Thus, the eigenvalues of the various charge operators are conserved. Absolutely conserved flavor quantum numbers are electric charge, weak isospin, baryon number, lepton number, in some theories, the individual baryon and lepton number conservation can be violated if the difference between them is conserved. All other flavor quantum numbers are violated by the electroweak interactions. Strong interactions conserve all flavors. History Some of the historical events that lead to the development of flavor symmetry are discussed in the article on isospin.